Hi guys, Thomas and Friends 47 here, and if you remember, if you watched my Thomas Haul of the Month for September, you'll remember that I told you I've got Nia for a special project, and this is that project. I'm going to make a custom snowy Nia, and I'm showing you how I made it uh, and the process that I went through of making it. Now, I've been making snow engines for, well, probably now about five years. Um, I make one every year, and it started when Toys R Us first released the uh, snowy snow what was it Sodor snowstorm series I believe it was and they were cool uh, but I decided to build ones on my side and the one way that I do that is this technique that I'm using here and it, it really helps uh, give a very lifelike snow effect um, and so I'm thankful that I was able to get Nia. Now, Nia has had uh, a few snowy episodes, of course, from Big World Big Adventures. She was seen in the snow with the snowplow. And then also in, uh, I believe it was Panicky Percy, I think she was in that. I uh, can't remember. But, you know, I, I like Nia. I think that she's cool. And I want to be able to add her to my Snow Engines collection. And so now you can see that I'm, I've already mixed some glue and some hype, or excuse me, extra gloss apple barrel paint. And what that does is if you just use glue, it makes the coat too thin. And if you just use paint, the sand doesn't stick as well. And that's actually what we're using for our snow on top of this, is uh, craft sand. Now, you'll notice I'm painting it, and I'm putting it in smudges. I'm not really spreading it out much. I'm just doing little bits of smudges. And what that does is that makes the, the density vary. And you'll see that at the end of the video. Um, it makes it look like there's thicker piles of snow than there in certain spots and less in others. Um, I try to be careful of the switch. I kind of forgot that until I started painting. So, I, But you don't want to get sand into that. Um, I also usually take the wheels off when I do this, like just remove the whole bottom chassis. But I forgot to do that at the start of this video. If you do make one of these, make sure to have parents' permission first, uh, but once you do that, once you have parents' or guardians' permission, make sure to take off the chassis because sand will fall into the motor, and that can cause gear problems and motor issues. Now you notice right here, this is the first part glue, and I'm sprinkling that sand on with a spoon, and just look how beautiful that is. And then what you do after that is you take and you dump all of the sand off, and that takes the excess sand off. You don't want to keep that, and then you're going to take that sand and pour it back into the jar. I skipped that part uh, in the video. And you'll see here with the coal, I'm not smudging it either on the coal load. I learned that it's better to just put it so it looks like it's naturally fallen. And at the end of the video, that's going to give you a better look on the on the engine when you when you do that. When you smudge it in, it makes it look like it's too too perfect, and you don't want to do that. You want to make it look very natural. You also see the buffers there. I just do the uh, the tops because that's what would fall. You know, snow would fall on the top. It's not going to get on the bottom unless it's thrown up from the wheels. So to look like it's piled on snow, you want to do it from from the top. Again, with the sand there. Notice how I'm sprinkling it too uh, to make it look more like a natural effect. And then that is it. We're going to let this dry and we'll be right back. It looks like Sodor is going to be getting some snow. And here she is. Look at this beautiful detail. You'll notice there that how it has that uh, nice thickness to it, and it looks like it's actually been piled on. And that's one uh, one advantage of using the craft sand. Another is actually when you turn this model, you actually see it shine a little bit. That's because sand has some glitterness to it. Let's see what I was talking about with the coal there, and how it looks thicker in some places and, and thinner in others. That gives a really natural look for snowfall. And overall, I'm very happy with how this turned out. Anyway, guys. I want to thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Bye for now.